Okay, friends, it's time to get started on replacing our map sensor. To get started, of course, we're going to have to find it. It's going to be located right under here, so let's get this out of the way. We're going to come right along this area here and relieve this clamp. Now we'll come over here. You should be able to twist this with your fingers. If you can't, just use some pliers. Turn it counterclockwise, loosen it up. Now we're going to come right here. Remove this, slide that out of the way, grab onto this, lift it up, let's get it out of the way. I'm just going to cover this area right here. We'll move along to removing this right here. That's going to give us some space to move this so we can access our map sensor. It's a little lock on this side. Now we're just going to come right underneath here. We're going to lift up on the tab as well, just like the other side. And lift up on this. That gives us a little bit more room to be able to access this. I'm going to disconnect this connector as well. Just got a little tab. Here's our map sensor. Let's go ahead and remove the wiring for that. Lift this tab as well and slide it off. Now all you have to do is go ahead and lift your map sensor out of your intake. I'm just going to use this. Gently pry underneath. There it is, friends. It's going to be time to install our brand new map sensor. I'm just going to look at it in comparison to the original, just ensure that it looks the same. It looks great, in exception of the fact that the old one's clogged up. So, now when you want to put this in, it's a good idea to just use a little bit of clean motor oil around this seal right here. That's going to help it slide in without tearing the seal. With the seal lubricated, I'm just going to line it up with the hole. underneath the wiring and then push it right down. Give it a little wiggle to ensure that it's definitely in there and it's not going to fall out. Now we'll connect in our wiring. Okay, now let's clip this one in as well. Come right up here, clip this in. A couple loving bonks and then of course lock it in as well. Make sure that's locked in. Make sure you don't have any dirt or debris inside your throttle body. Now let's get this back on here. I'm going to slide it on from the front because we have these little hooky doos. They need to slide underneath this edge of the throttle body. So we'll just go in at an angle, line it up, push it down. Now put on your wing nut here. Make sure that's nice and tight. Ensure this doesn't move around on top of your throttle body. Put this back together. Snug it up, make sure it's tight. Let's get this back on here. Slide it into the valve cover, right up to here. Perfect. Now all you have left to do is go ahead and start up the truck, make sure you don't have a check engine light, and then take it for a road test.